to my channel my name is Magdalene so today I'm going to talk about the Nigeria international passport how do you get it what is the process involved how long does it take what are the new updates so I got my Nigeria international passport so um my first passport I got is in Abelkuta that's where I used to stay then I moved to Lagos and the next one I got it at the Ikoi passport office so now with the newest updates um, with the new updates, you are supposed to apply online. The first step is to input your bio data online. I know most probably this was done because there are many, many times that people's passports were done in a rush and there will be errors in names, errors in date of birth, and you have to go to Abuja to fix it. So now you have to input it yourself. So if there's an error in your name, your error in your date of birth, then it will be basically your own fault. So I took my time to apply for my national passport there two ways in it so the first you can either apply for the Nigerian international passport or you could renew your passport so don't mix it up because if you make payments on that renewal well when you make payments on that new one whereas you're supposed to renew it will take you like forever to get your money back you know so i actually did the registration myself then i printed out everything but i didn't make payment on the platform actually you can make payment on the platform there's nothing wrong making payment on the platform the only issue is that you have to be meticulous and pay attention to details so any error you make is your fault then when you're done with registering and making payment then you print out the slips then go with your ni in nigeria there is this synchronization between your nin your bvn your international passport everything just have to basically be the same across board faulty fix just make sure everything is just basically the same across board so when you get that you go to the nearest passport office close to you basically i would have chosen the alausa based on where i stay but since i basically spent all my day at all my week at the office monday to friday so i went for the passport office which is close to where i stay so like i said in the previous video it took me basically a week to get my passport done that is because i knew someone in nigeria where things are not really, really working it can take a week a lot of people are complaining like a few months ago there was shortage in printing paper for passport like can you imagine how would there be shortage in printing of passports can you believe it then it got to a stage that passports there was such an imprinting of passport then even the prices were act but the only improvement now is that it's better and the number of years has been increased the previous one i had is um basically five years and yes it's still the same number of five years but you can get up to 10 years validity period so i went for the five years 25 years and all where i would travel to so guys after you've gotten your international passport then you're good basically but the only thing I noticed that there is this news going on about that Nigerians that does not have that their international passports have expired and then diaspora they can travel to Nigeria without them without a valid international passport. Man, this thing is only valid on paper. We've only heard about it, but we've not really seen it work. And many people have been that have been traveling have been saying that if your international passport is not valid, it's not really easy. Some airports will not take you. You'll be able to travel and sometimes even in the embassies in all those countries where they are it's always very hard to get passports to be printed not all of coming all the way to the country and hoping that you get your passport done so though it said that it's going to be possible you will start getting your international passport at the airport which is the international airport but really you know it's all words things are not really working and there are many many promises have been made to us in this country and not lots of food so how would you want to believe that you will take the risk and you will come to Nigeria without a valid passport and you will not be harassed. My dear, that's a lie to me. The last time I traveled on a trip to Kutunu, even with a valid international passport, I practically have to pay 2,000 Naira from Nigerian land border to stamp my passport. Then around that 2,000 Naira to be able to stamp to enter Kutunu. Imagine that. I'm, being, I'm paying to stamp my passport for a country that is visa free. Not talking about you're not coming into Nigeria and you're saying that you're, they will allow you coming without a valid passport. Man, those are just mere words. There's nothing that says about the process, process that is going to follow. There's nothing that says that your immigration officers won't embarrass you or harass you. Because even though it was said that without harassment, my dear, we know. It is man who knows man. Who knows who that works in this country. So if you want to apply for international passport, fine, there's no problem. Just ensure you go to them. Um, Nigerian immigration portal and apply for your passport. Print your bio data page that you've inputted. 
ensure that your data is inputted correctly you can make payments online or you can pay at the passport office then they will give you the time as you go go with your nose mask because the well there's rona there's covid and everybody has to stay safe so go with your nose mask go with your nin and they will, they'll check they'll check you at the entrance so you can the first time i went i did my capturing and it didn't really take time you just have to wait do your capturing and all and second time when you pick the passport you do a biometric to activate the passport or something so something like that because i knew there's somebody that created a passport and you could not basically you could not be validated so ensure that all the process involved in collecting the passport is done you will capture your biometrics again and maybe do an activation of some sort and you get your passport and you are good to go so guys if you like this kind of video don't forget to give it a thumbs up please subscribe to my channel and turn that vlog bye guys